Hello everyone and thank you for joining me again. This is Nadia with OnlineBusinessLog.com and right now I'm going to show you how to point your domain name to your web hosting company. In previous videos we've learned how to purchase a domain name and I have all of my domain names through Namecheap. I'm affiliated with them by the way. Also I have purchased hosting account from HostGator. Uh, another company I'm affiliated with and I chose the baby plan which allows me to host multiple websites on the same account. Now that you've received an email from HostGator you're gonna open it and locate the first name server and the second name server in the email. You might also want to write down your username and your password which is a default password given to you by HostGator. You're gonna need these when you point your domain name so that you can log into your control panel in HostGator. Now that we have the information ready to go, I'm going to go to Namecheap.com, click on My Account on the right hand corner, click on Manage Domains, and I'm going to log in as myself. Of course, you need to log in with your username and password that you created. Click on Login, and at this point, you're going to see all the information that you have in this um, in, in Namecheap. I have a lot of domains, like I said, listed here. So I'm going to double click onlinebusinesslog.com because this is going to be my main website on HostGator. And underneath it is going to be all the other add on domains that I'm going to create. So at this point, we click Domain Name Server Setup on the top left hand corner. And as you can see from here, I've already set it up with the information with the DNS servers that were given to me in my email account. But you have to put those in here, number one and number two, and click on Save Changes. Now that you've saved your DNS information in Namecheap pointing to HostGator, you're going to come out to the control panel of your domain at HostGator. So we're going to go to Online businesslog.com slash cpanel which is for control panel and here it is we're gonna log in as ourselves so this information remember this was in the email that you were given the password I've already created a password here but this is gonna be the default password the first time you log in and then from control panel you can change that to any password that you'd like I'm gonna click log in uh, you're going to be given this script. Uh, do you need help getting started? You can say, no, I'm fine, or you can exit out of that one. And that's it for this video. This is Nadia signing off with OnlineBusinessLog.com. Our next video will be how to configure an add-on domain in HostGator, and following that will be how to install WordPress on both main and add-on domains. Thank you, and have a great day.